hello friends welcome back to my channel today in this video i'll just give you the basic overview of abap what are the daily uh, responsibilities as an abap developer so stay tuned with this video okay so let us start uh, so we will be working as an abap consultant okay from uh, trainee to senior consultant okay so uh, basically as you know that a bap which stands for advanced business application programming right so what are the uh, daily uh, responsibilities what we need to do how you will receive uh, any task right <clears throat> so what happens suppose if you are working in the any xyz company and that xyz company is having some uh, client so you will be working for this client okay you will be uh, working for this client and suppose this client whenever you receive any requirement that will be the business requirement okay so if there is suppose you are working for the abc client and uh, they want some uh, sales order report okay sales order report that need to be developed so as an abap consultant what you need to do you will require or you will uh, gather the requirement or functional consultant from functional consultant but uh, initially functional consultant will gather the uh, business requirement from this abc client okay after that uh, let me write here uh, the steps client abc want to develop the sales order report okay so now they'll explain the uh, requirement to the functional consultant okay now they want to develop the sales order report so it is related to uh, sap sd module so obviously it will be sd functional consultant okay so sd functional consultant will gather the requirement by scheduling meeting or discussion with the client and then after that he will prepare one functional specification document functional specification document okay this functional specification document is nothing but the logic which is required to develop this sales order report okay functional specification document is nothing but the logic which is which is uh, written to develop the sales order report uh, for example um uh, for example suppose if you want to fetch some field uh, from particular table then what functional specification will write okay fetch this this field Uh, suppose uh, sub fetch x y z field from some x y z table write this he'll return the logic uh, st uh, step wise it's just like an algorithm and you as an abap consultant as an abap consultant you need to develop the report okay as per business requirement okay as per business requirement you need to develop the report but before that before starting the development as an abap consultant you need to analyze the business requirement first you need to analyze it then you need to uh, understand how we can proceed for this development by uh, analyzing the sd module flow okay obviously 
the functional specification document will uh, consist the logic right so it will consist the logic so that's why uh, you need to analyze the business requirement then analyze the sd flow means uh, from which uh, table you need to fetch the data first on uh, suppose you have fetched the data but on what uh, on which table you need to apply the loop like that okay you can ask the sd flow uh, to functional consultant they will explain you okay before starting the uh, development of this report you need to give the effort estimation sorry effort estimation or time required to develop this report okay suppose uh, usually uh, we give uh, 16 hours for report development in real time i'm telling you about this real time we will give 16 hours for the uh, report development okay then after that provide uh, the technical specification document technical specification document not provide uh, you need to prepare first prepare the technical specification document uh, what this document consist that uh, we have seen the functional specification document now we will see the technical specification document this technical specification documents contains the written or um, the logic or the method to uh, that how you will develop this report okay so the uh, same business logic will be consist uh, in this report in this document so a BAP consultant will prepare this and it will uh, he will provide or you need to provide it to functional consultant okay that means what changes you have done or how you have implemented this report those things will be uh, present in TS document that is technical specification okay so whenever you will start writing any logic for a report you need to save that in a particular TR you you might came across the TR concept that is transport request organizer okay transport request organizer as we as you know you will develop one report but you know, there are three uh, let me start with that development server QAS that is quality server DEV development server QAS and PRD and that is production server so this is development this is quality this is production okay as an above consultant you will develop the report on this development server okay whenever you will write the logic you need to save it in some TR that is transport request one transport request uh, number will be generated okay that will be system generated tr number um, you can uh, create or you can see in se09 or se01 t code okay you need to same uh, save that suppose report you have created one report with the name report one you need to save in some tr suppose tr001 okay now once your development is completed you need to inform to the functional consultant consultant what you will inform that 
okay development is completed uh, uh, or de that development is completed from a bab side so please test like this you need to inform then after that functional consultant will test that report if he find some changes then he will uh, uh, tell you again that okay we want this this changes then a bab consultant will do the changes again but tr number will be same okay tr number will be same okay then again once you do the changes you need to again uh, give it to the functional consultant okay this changes has been done you can test again once he give the confirmation once he give the confirmation and uh, he will give the uat to the client uat that is user acceptance testing okay so then client and functional consultant will do the uat that means they will do, those people will do the testing on the development server if everything looks fine if report works fine then uh, functional consultant will mail you for the tr movement from development to quality okay with the confirmation of client or business okay so functional consultant will send you an email okay this report is working fine now uh, please uh, move this tr this tr to quality for testing on this server we will uh, abap consultant will do the development on quality on quality server functional consultant and client means business will do the uh, testing proper testing and prop and production is the server where the end user can interact with okay so now uh, after uh, after you get the confirmation from from functional consultant you need to move this tr to quality okay now here um, functional consultant and business will do proper testing will do proper testing suppose uh, they uh, after testing is done and now uh, client or business want some more changes then a uh, functional consultant will inform the abap consultant now the business want uh, some again changes now again abap consultant will uh, do the changes on development okay again he'll do the changes on development with the new tr number generated it will generate automatically do you don't need to do anything but uh, i'm just giving you an example okay now your this tr will be new tr okay once the tr has been released uh, please keep in mind that once the tr has been released from development you can't do any changes in that you can't do any changes in that you can't add any report smart form in that particular tr okay you need to create new tr okay so again uh, suppose you do the changes here you do the changes here which are suggested uh, by business here okay you do uh, again then functional consultant will do testing on development okay uh, then he will show the changes to the business if everything is fine then he will again mail you for this uh, tr movement the second one tr movement uh, then what abap consultant will do he will release this tr from development and uh, uh, functional consultant will import this tr to quality okay now again they will do the testing okay again they will do the testing now everything is fine now your sales order report assume that your sales order report is now working fine now what we will uh, what the business will uh, do uh, say on mail you will get all the uh, uh, everything on mail that okay um, 
or the functional consultant will tell you that uh, we have received the UAD sign off from the business. Uh, please uh, transport all the TR to production. UAT sign off means user acceptance testing is done and we have received the sign off for this sales order report. Okay, functional consultant will say this and you need to transfer, uh, transport all the TRs to production. But while transporting this TR or while uh, we don't need to as an ABAP consultant, you don't need to move this TR, functional consultant will do it. What you uh, uh, what ABAPers will do here? ABAPers will only give the list. I'll just come down here. Oh, ABAPER will only give the list. Okay, this one is the first TR. Will give the sequence of list. What I said sequence. This is first TR. This is second TR. Okay, so you will inform to the functional consultant. Okay, this one is the first TR. And after that, uh, you can import this second tier to production. Don't do like this. If you uh, if you uh, move the second tier first and first tier uh, first tier uh, after that, it is uh, like it will be wrong. Okay, you need to move all the tier to production in sequence only. Okay, control Z, control X, okay, you need to move in sequence only, okay, suppose uh, uh, now it is live, your rep sales order report is live on production, end users are suppose uh, um, using this report and uh, end users suppose find some changes or require any changes, now they will suggest some changes okay we want these these changes now again it will go back to the functional consultant he will collect the requirement okay what are what changes you are required tell me okay then functional consultant will prepare the functional specification document if any more changes are required then he will inform to the abap consultant okay now abapper will create do the changes and will make new tr number okay he will make new tr number and uh, will do changes again will he will do the changes again which are suggested uh, while doing or uh, while using the report on production okay uh, abapper will do the changes then uh, functional consultant will do the testing okay every once everything is fine okay then functional consultant will tell to the uh, business or end user okay you can do the testing or uh, we have tested you can check once once he uh, once you get the confirmation from end user you need to move the tr you need to just release the tr okay then uh, once you release from uh, this t code you can release it from either sc09 t code or sc01 okay so this will this is third tr now uh, again they will functional consultant or and business will test again will do the proper testing here for the third time changes and once everything is fine functional consultant will mail you that okay this is working fine on quality please move it to production then after that what you will give the tr number you will provide now we do not have any sequence here because the first two TRs are already there in production. So you don't need to move it again with the third TR. Now what we, you will do? You will only move the third TR. I hope you get my point. Okay. So uh, this one is the just I am just uh, giving you uh, how you will deal with the uh, new task or business requirement how you will develop okay as an ABAP consultant what you will do okay so um, in this video uh, I hope you got some idea from this video so I'll try to upload the next video as soon as possible 
uh, till that time just go through the above data dictionary concept i'll try to uh, cover the uh, above data dictionary in the next video so thanks for watching this so this much in this video